Hello. Hey, Paper Kirby, how you doing? Just give me a second here to get set up. I'm going to turn down that music a little bit more. That's still too loud. Maybe it's just loud on my side. Okay. All right. Um, I got a little bit behind getting ready for the stream so just bear with me for a couple minutes hey dark void how's it going welcome on in hope you guys are having a good day hey jay what's up i did order a british guy it's about time you got here i've been waiting all right guys here's the plan um first off can you guys hear me okay i got the new microphone set up you can't hear me. Uh, well, you're a little bit busy right now, Ancient. I get that. Hold on a second. Can't hear me. Okay, hold on. Let me... Outputs. Can you guys hear me? Sweet. Okay. For right now, hey Skull. Uh, for right now, I got myself echoing in my ears, so that's gonna be fun. But uh. I don't want to wait any longer. Okay, so here's the deal. I've been trying to get this Amara for a few months now off and on. And it's really starting to tick me off. So tonight we're just going to, we're going to go. We're going to get it. Um... There is an echo. Okay. See, low and ancient screwed me up. I thought they couldn't hear me. I didn't know they had me muted. Okay, how's that? Turn off the YouTube volume. Am I echoing now? Hey, what's up, Amber? Okay, now it's good. 
Okay, Lo, I'm blaming you and Ancient on that. I, I, I misunderstood your guys' messages. I thought you just couldn't hear me because you couldn't hear me. Okay, much better. All right, let, let's start over. Okay, let's let's take a let's take a deep breath. Start over here. Okay, so I've been trying to go after this Amora for months, off and on. It just won't show up. Uh, even the other day, while I was looking for it, I ran into a shiny cryogonal. And while that was fantastic, it, it wasn't the Amora. I've done, as you can see, almost 1,900 checks for this thing. Um, so I got to get it. Uh, this is just, it's getting ridiculous. Um, Lo, I might take you up on that because I was messing around with trying to make, uh, uh, why can't I? Oh, jeez. Oh, this Amara. Okay, I just realized something stupid. I, um, this is really embarrassing. So, I have the DLC on my Switch Lite, and I transferred the save file over to the Switch so I could play it on stream. And now I'm seeing I can't go to the Crown Tundra because I don't have the DLC. So we're going to have to find something else to hunt tonight. Um, because this has already been a complete flop of a stream and I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to let that, I'm not, we're going to make something good out of this. We're going to make something good out of this, but I appreciate you guys all being here and putting up with me while I'm trying this out. Um... Let's see what's going on uh, out in the wild. Okay, so how's everyone doing? Everyone having a good night? What we got over here? No. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yes, I could go for Solosis. I need Solosis. Gage, Gage Perez, the man, the myth, the legend is here. Oh, great. So one of the big guys showing up to watch me bomb this, uh, this stream. That's fantastic. Oh, Amber, you can't be tired already. You got a long night ahead of you. All right, let's, uh, let's start this counter over. And uh, gonna hide a Mora. I uh, just like Dammy, what you uh, honey and stuff, and I can make one. Hopefully, you like it. Lo, I'm sure I would like anything you put together, um, and I, I will take you up on that. Uh, eight likes already. That's fantastic. You guys are wonderful. Um, the fact that you guys are hitting the like button and sticking around as I completely bomb this beginning is is very, very nice. Uh, like, I'll be honest, I was not planning on streaming tonight, but tomorrow's the start of packing everything up. I'm going to have to tear down the whole setup for the temporary setup right uh and uh, i just i wanted to get something else in um before uh before i had to do that am 
My son thinks you're his grandpa. He's saying bumpy. I said, no, honey, that's not grumpy. All right, so is that is that like, are your kids calling me old? Is that what's going on there? Because that's, uh, I mean, I can understand, but that's, that's a little hurtful. Let's get this counter reset. Hundred and five, that's awesome. Okay. Alright, we're at one. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get this dang Solosis. It's the last one I need of the uh of the family. Oh, it's the hat. Okay. Yes, Gage. Let's get some shinies. Made by friendship. Okay, uh, that's that's something we can we can talk about. Um, that does remind me, though. Thank you, Lo. Um, I got to give a shout out to uh, to Antler Moth who uh, designed this overlay for me. Uh, you all know her. She's fantastic. Uh, if you don't know her, get to know her. She's, uh, she's wonderful. Alejandro, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for, uh, thanks for giving me a shot here. Uh, this is going to count. This as my first real stream. Uh, I've done two streams before, but they were secret streams and didn't give anybody any notice. So, um, I. Uh, yeah, we're just we're, we're trying this out. Um, you know, I, I talk enough uh, smack in, uh, in other people's streams. I figure it's time I put myself out there. So, yes, yes, I do have uh, I do have the shiny charm. Um, uh, I've, uh, I've had some pretty decent luck, uh, in doing wild hunts in the past. Um, I've been a little, little light on the luck lately, but so maybe that just means that we're due for one, right? Um, now I know that, and, I, and I've talked about this before in other people's streams with the whole, um, 500 KO, uh, method, my personal opinion, um, it's not really worth it to, to, to bet on the brilliant aura, 3%, 1 out of 5, 12 odds once you hit 500 KOs. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and try and hit that 500 because, uh, you know, you never know. But I know some people, once they hit 500 KOs, they only go after the brilliant auras. And in my experience, that's just a waste of time. Uh, you're missing a lot of potential shinies by only uh, going after the Brilliant Auras. Um, out of all the shinies I've gotten in the wild, only two have been Brilliant Aura. Um, do I know how to get the Shiny Charm, Paper Kirby? Yeah, um, in order to get the, the Shiny Charm, you have to complete the uh, Galar Pokedex, uh, which is uh, 400. Uh, it does involve doing some trades to get some uh, version exclusives from... Uh, from the other game uh, but if you can do it it's definitely worth it uh, especially if you're going to try and do a Masuda method or wild hunting uh, it, it cuts the odds drastically Sobble that's a good one I got to do that one too uh, you know when it comes to the uh, uh, when it comes to the starters, I've got the uh, the Cinderace, Cinderace line. I got a Score Bunny reboot and uh, and Cinderace, and I have a Grookey, but I do need to go back and get the rest of the starters. It's always nice to watch a streamer who knows a lot of in depth about shiny hunting. I just know odds. Yeah, you know what? Odds and persistence are like ninety five percent of it. Uh, all the rest of it is just window dressing, right? You know, like there are certain. Certain aspects uh, you can learn 
uh, from watching other streamers, watching tutorials about how to maximize your 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 hunts. But you know the odds and the the patience. That's really all there is to it. I don't know if Gage is still here, but uh, if you guys uh, didn't get a chance to catch Gage's to stream today, it was fantastic. He got two uh, two shinies via SOS, uh, which is my personal favorite method, uh, and some beautiful shinies at that. Uh, that was that was awesome to watch, uh, and I actually learned uh, a new trick. I you know I thought I knew it all about SOS hunting, you know, because I'm a cocky son of a gun, um, but. I did not know about the um, mimic recycle trick for uh, for mimic you. I, I thought that was brilliant. Uh, I learned that watching his stream uh, was it yesterday. Um, it's just you know it, it, it just you know goes to show that there's always room to learn. There's always new tactics uh, and strategies uh, that you can learn from uh, from other fantastic people. No, 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 Alejandro. I wish, I wish. Um, you know, I like to put up a new video every day, um, but my shiny luck hasn't been fantastic this week, so I got a whole bunch of older shinies that I've caught that um, I've been putting up if I have a shinyless day. Uh, I will say, though, that when I, when I got the Snom and the Frostmoth, uh, that was back-to-back -back days. I got Snom on December 30th and Frostmoth on uh, December 31st. Uh, and if I don't get this uh, Solosis tonight, tomorrow you'll see what I caught on New Year's Day, uh, which I was pretty excited about. Oh, here's a brilliant aura. And if you guys see me looking up every once in a while, it's because I got uh, I Am Ancient on my TV. I, I am, you know, I wanted to stream, but I'm not going to run the risk of missing him getting this Kyogre. Uh, make sure you guys check out I Am Ancient if you aren't already subscribed to him. He's fantastic. Starlight, how's it going? Welcome in. What's up? What's going on? Where are we at now? 10 likes. Jeez, I guess, wow, I guess we should change the like goal. I guess I'll, uh, I'll pull, uh, a chem here. If someone wants to put up a like goal, um, we'll pin it. I'm doing all right, Starlight. Thank you. Um, stream started off a little, uh, a little sketchy, but uh, it's getting better. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with having so many fantastic people here to support me, like yourself. All right, um, fifteen. That sounds reasonable. That sounds doable. Let's uh, let's let's go with that. Thank you, AJ. Uh, you know, one you know, this is I'm, I'm I'm brand new to this whole streaming thing. One thing I've not gotten used to, and I'm sure I will eventually, is feeling like I'm just talking to myself. It's so weird. Um, thankfully, I don't have any body within earshot that can hear me. I can't imagine what they would think. It's just so strange to feel like you're having a conversation with yourself. I don't know how you guys do it on a regular basis. Please, please tell me you get used to that eventually.
I would really love to get the Solosis. Reuniclus is my favorite psychic. And I have Duoge and I have Reuniclus, but I don't have Solosis yet. Yeah. Just imagine everyone in chat is like on a voice. Okay, it does get normal. Okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. You know, the other thing I got to work on personally, um, I, I I tend to like in a group of people, I tend to be the guy that kind of listens, like you know. It's not like I'm avoiding conversation or anything, but I tend to listen more than I do talk and then, you know, pop in with a good zinger every once in a while. So I'm not used to kind of having to carry a conversation. Uh, so I think this will be good for me too. I think it'll help me open up a little bit more like that. Um, definitely help me help me grow. Man, I love seeing everyone uh, everyone talking to each other in the chat, having conversations. That's awesome. All right, Amber. Um, yeah, you go get Junior to bed. I, I appreciate you hanging out. Um, that chat is going to forge a convo out of me. Uh, yeah, because, you know, what the heck would be the point of watching a streamer who doesn't engage with the chat, right? Used to people talking using mic. So um, I think we got a couple of new people in here that weren't in here the other night. Um, just a little bit about me. Obviously, I'm I'm hefty. Um, I uh, I got into Pokemon back in '99. Uh, My first game was Pokemon Snap, and I just love the characters. So I picked up uh, Red and Blue for the Game Boy. Um, I was uh, Shiny Solosis for me is the same, but it has. Yeah, it's it's a really it's a really subtle shiny, isn't it? Uh, so I really got to keep an eye out to make sure I don't accidentally kill it. Um, but yeah, so uh, so ninety nine uh, got into red and blue. I was a sophomore in college. Um, that was fun because uh, you know what's what I love about college is like once you get there, you can like let your freak flag fr uh, fly. No one cares. Like. You know, you don't have to worry about, you know, being cool or being a nerd or whatever. Like, everyone's just so accepting, or at least in my experience. And so, like, I was I was the guy in the fraternity that, like, you know, played Pokemon all the time. And I got other people into it and been uh, been playing ever since. Um, but other than a couple of random shinies and, like, uh, giveaway shinies and stuff, I never really got into that until uh, 2020. Um... I did uh, start off with a little bit of chain fishing in X and Y, but then I really got into the SOS hunts in uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And at this point, there there were a couple that you could SOS hunt in Sun and Moon that I didn't because I ended up getting them in Let's Go. Um, but basically, there's, there's nothing left for me to to SOS hunt in, in Sun and Moon. I got them all. Uh, there's some island scans I need to do, but that's basically it. Um, and so I, you know, moved on to other games and other, you know, uh, methods, uh, friend safaris, um, chain fishing, horde encounters, uh, dex nav, uh, <laughs> yellow. I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll modesty aside, I'm, I'm doing pretty decent on my, on my living decks. Um, I'm at, uh, Oh, the music in the background's a tad low. Okay, I'll I'll pick that up because we need we need some music. We need something other than me to listen to. Um, what device can we play Sun and Moon in? 
Um, I play it on my 3DS. Um, I don't have a I don't have a capture card 3DS, so I'm not going to be able to, at least for a while, play that um, on stream. But uh, yeah, they were they were 3DS games. Um, but uh, half tea today was in Kim's life. Yeah, yeah, actually, Alejandro, I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm in Kim's stream pretty much every day. Um, you know, he's a he's a big influence on me. Uh, he's been a a huge uh, mentor uh, for me as far as uh, you know, getting getting ready to uh, stream and all. Um, he's a, he's a great guy. Sax, what's going on, man? Good to see you. We're just uh, doing a little bit of uh, shiny hunting here for Solosis uh, and uh, and chit chatting. Um, but yeah, Lo, I, uh, you know, all modesty aside, I'm, I'm, I'm at about, I think like seven, seven, seventy, seven, eighty, uh, unique, uh, uh, shiny species. And then, you know, I mean, that includes, no, maybe that doesn't include regionals. Anyway, I got a bunch. I'm down to, I think, 120 Pokemon out of the 905 that I, that I still need. Uh, no, Alejandro, he didn't get the Solgaleon Guzzlord today, but uh, knowing him, he'll, uh, he'll get it soon. Smokes, a lot of Clefairy. There we go. Hatch and Marini eggs, nice. Well, thank you, AJ. That's that's nice of you to say. Yeah, Marini's a good shiny. I hope you get a quick low. What do you guys think of my uh, three latest subscribers right uh, down here? Those are uh, some pretty sweet names, huh? You're going for all seven alchemy shinies in regular forms. When are you doing that? I know, right? They're, they're such sweet names. Um, and, and I appreciate that. Uh, uh, you know, it was really nice of them. It was really nice of them to crawl out of their hole to help me get to uh, over 100 subs. Um, very, very thoughtful of them. But, uh, but apparently now we're at 105, so at least even without those three, it won't make a difference. Um, yeah, I guess I should say, uh, if there's anyone here that I, I don't know, uh, or doesn't already know me, um, if, if I haven't been a complete disappointment to you yet, um, I, I'd appreciate a, a like and subscribe. 
still I'm still hoping to get my first uh, subscription notification up on the screen. I, I, I love it. I, I can't wait to see it happen live. But, uh, you know, if you don't want to, that's that's cool. That's cool. No biggie. Did I, did I hit okay? Did I, did I increase on that one? Check. No, I did not. Oh, well, thank you, Alejandro. That, that, that's awesome. Um, I hope I didn't, like, you know, force you into it. But uh, uh, I, I appreciate that. Um, but so, yeah, if, if you guys uh, don't know my, uh, my current uh, situation, I'm getting ready to move. I bought a house. Uh, the closing is next Friday, so uh, a week from today. Jeez. Um, so I'm in the process of, of uh, getting ready to move. Uh, tomorrow everything's kind of getting boxed up uh, to get ready. So this will probably be my last stream, my first and last stream for like a little over a week. Uh, so I know that's probably not the best thing to do uh, for subscribers, uh, but just a heads up. Um, I will be streaming a lot more. Uh, it just might be a week or two before uh, before it takes off. I don't know how Gage talks non-stop for three hours. I just, I, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get to that point. That man is a champ. Yeah, exactly, Lo. Like, it's, it was... Like, I was so excited to get everything all set up and test it out. Make sure, you know, I knew what I was doing and which I don't, uh, and, 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 and test everything. Um, but, uh, you know, it just, it just kind of stinks that I'm like, you know, doing it a couple times and I'm going to disappear for, I mean, I'm not going to disappear. I just won't be streaming for a couple of weeks. I mean, I'm still going to be doing my daily videos. Uh, I'm still going to be active in all the chats. It's not like, you know, that's going away. Uh, it's just, I'm not going to be able to get into a regular schedule here for a couple more weeks. Uh, and then, um, I'm hoping to be doing it at least a few times a week. I'm thinking, right now I'm thinking probably like, um, once or twice, uh, during the weekdays. And, uh, probably, uh, some, some longer streams on, on, on Saturdays and or Sundays. Uh, yes, AJ, I appreciate you, uh, you telling me that, um, I, uh, I had heard that was going to happen, I think, yesterday or the day before, but I completely forgot. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Um, yeah, I definitely don't want to spoil anything. Um, like, I'm, I got the closing next Monday morning at 8.30, and then I'm planning on, like, grabbing lunch afterwards and then heading to the theater. Like, I don't care if... I got a billion things to do to get moved into the new house. I got to see Doctor Strange before I can do anything else. That's, uh, that's, that's, it's not even an option. And, uh, yeah, I certainly don't want to be ruined by anything. I love going into those things, uh, completely cold. And eventually I'd like to uh, get more, um, more, uh, how about some, uh, I'd like to get more, uh, comic, uh, uh, stuff on this channel too. Um, 
some of you know, I'm, I'm a huge, uh, huge comics fan, mostly Marvel, but a uh, little bit of DC and uh, some independents too. Um, and that's, uh, that's one thing that um, I would love to be able to find. I, I love the Pokemon community. I love the shiny hunting community. Uh, but for me personally, what would really just be the best thing ever is if I could pe find people within the shiny hunting community that are also into comics. Um, that, that would just, I mean, my life would just be made at that point. You know, I just, I would love to nerd out with people about Pokemon and comics at the same time. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of a goal for this channel as well for me. Um, and, uh, I'm, I'm actively recruiting, uh, new comic, uh, readers too. Um, I may have, uh, sent a couple of recommendations to, um, pretty big YouTube streamer, uh, earlier today and hopefully he'll, uh, take my advice if he knows, uh, if, if he likes cool stuff, he'll, uh, We'll check it out. Zach, where are you going to go see that Monday? Do, do you do you hack movies as as well as Pokemon? Is that what you're saying? Age, I'm just teasing you, man. I'm just teasing you. Um, those, uh, those are some. I mean, I know, I know you don't know me too well, man. I, I understand that, but those are some legit good, solid stories. I think just based off a little bit I know of you and your interests, um, I, I, I think the stories would be right up your alley. That's I, I could be completely wrong. Money back guarantee. I promise. I know, Sax, it comes out, uh, well, where I'm at, it comes out next Friday or Thursday night, however you want to look at it. Um, I know, uh, some, uh, I mean, I know you're in the U S but like, I know some countries I think get it on Tuesday. Um, but, uh, but yeah, like, like AJ was mentioning, um, they released the first 20 minutes to certain reviewers uh, either yesterday or today. And then they're having the red carpet premiere, I think either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, but I'm, I'm planning on seeing it uh, Friday after lunch. Uh, yeah, hello. I, I, dude, I could give you suggestions all day long. Um, I mean, I, I think I am as equally obsessed with comic books as I am with Pokemon. Um, and I could, I could tell you like the classic stuff, you know, uh, it's always good. Uh, you know, the Spider-Mans, the X-Men, uh, stuff like that, the Moon Knight. Um, uh, but, uh, some of the really banging stuff out there is, uh, uh, stuff that are done by a little bit more independent companies. Um, like the ones I recommended to Gage, I'll just tell you guys, the ones I recommended to Gage, if you guys are interested and I, I swear to God, I'm not employed by them or anything. Uh, the first trades uh, are like 10 bucks. Saga is a fantastic series. It's one of the most acclaimed uh, series of the past decade. It's a fantastic like space sci-fi story, but it's 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 hilarious and it's got serious themes and crazy aliens and uh it's it's all about it's and it's a romeo and juliet story basically where there's these two warring factions out in space and uh a guy from one of the factions and a girl from the other meet and they fall in love and they have a baby but now they're both traitors to their own races and they're basically going across the galaxy hiding from both of the sides and trying to raise their kid right uh and it's just it's it's amazing uh and then uh, East versus or East of West. East of West is another great one. Uh, that one, I, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a, a post-apocalyptic U.S., but 
it's still set in like like it's in the future but it the setting is still like wild wild west and the u.s uh is divided into seven different nations and the four horsemen of the apocalypse have come because it's armageddon time and uh the story follows all the craziness that comes out of that and it's and and the the artwork oh my god gage this is why i recommended that one to you if you're still listening this guy nick dragota who does the artwork he needs there needs to be an anime based off of his art style like it looks like an anime uh when you're reading it i i can't give that one a a, a high recommendation sea king primafy how you doing welcome in good to see you again i hope you're doing well today Yeah, well, I mean, I could go on for hours. Those are just a couple that I uh, mentioned to Gage. And the, the other one I mentioned was uh, uh, Sandman uh, by Neil Gaiman, which is uh, currently being finalized as a Netflix series. I think it's supposed to come out later this year, but that one's classic. Um, it started in, I think, 88 and ran for 75 issues, and it's just a beautiful story. It's also the only comic that ever won the... What award was it? It was it was some literature award for sci-fi that is all, always like given to like the best sci-fi book or whatever. But this one, as a comic book, actually won it, uh, and that one's really neat. It's 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 really deep and heady. Uh, the basic idea is that there are these seven uh, brothers and sisters called the Endless, right? And um, you know, seeking you did come into a, into a comic conversation. Um, you know, these seven brothers and sisters called the Endless, and they represent, they're, they're like personifications of these abstract ideas. Dream, which is the main character, Sandman. Dream, uh, death, delirium, destruction, despair, destiny, and desire. And basically how the seven of them affect shape warp control you know the universe uh and and but it's so it's like really heady but it's got a really like personal touch to it too um it's it's very it's a very intimate story uh but i can't wait for that one to come to uh to netflix i think that's gonna be great yeah, you know, AJ, I I haven't read the Power Rangers comics, but uh, or the Transformers ones that I think IDW puts out right now. But uh, from from everything I've heard, like they're getting great reviews. A lot of people seem to really enjoy them. You know, the Transformers, Power Rangers, and uh, Ninja Turtles uh, especially have made a real resurgence uh, in the comic community the last uh, several years. Um, Yeah, right, Seeking? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I would love for this to show up tonight. Um, I don't know if it's going to happen, uh, but uh, uh, I'd love it to. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't want to, like, oversell them, but, you know, one of my personal uh, pet peeves is, and I get it, like, just by, you know, what's out there in the media, uh, especially back when I was a kid, like, Comic books are just like, you know, superheroes. It's your Spider-Man, it's your it's your Wolverine, it's your Captain America, it's your Superman, it's your Batman. Uh, you know, good guys beating up bad guys who want to take over the world and, and all that. And yeah, those exist, you know, and they're good. But that's not the only thing. Like, I, like comic books are... Excuse <clears throat> Comic books aren't a genre, they're a medium. That's like saying every book is an autobiography. Uh, <laughs> Dorian. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of can't control myself once I get started. But, uh, 
Yeah, it's like saying like every book is an autobiography. No, like there's 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 westerns, there's sci-fi, there's fantasy, there's crime noir, there's all sorts of different books. And it's the same thing with comics. I mean, you know, I can't I can't count the number of times I've told people like, hey, did you like the movie The Crow with Brandon Lee? That was a comic book. Do you like The Walking Dead? That's a comic book. Did you like the Tom Hanks movie Road to Perdition? That's a comic book. Do you like The Umbrella Academy? That's a comic book. I mean, they're, it's all over the map, you know? Like, there's a, there's a comic for, for everyone. Um, but, you know, some people, you know, still kind of look at it as, you know, kid stuff um, with uh, good guys beating up bad guys, which I enjoy, but that's, uh, that's not there, all there is to it. But, yeah, sorry, I just went off on a huge rant there. Thanks, Lo. That's that's really nice of you to say. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's that's I, I want to kind of bring that up in, in my stuff too. I mean, not that I am any sort of influential person, but I'd love to be able to shiny hunt with people and maybe um, introduce them to you know something they never knew about with comics before. Uh, because uh, I, I truly believe there's a comic uh, out there for everybody. Like, I read this one um, a couple of years ago by a really great uh, writer named uh, Jeff Lemire. It's called um, Royal City. And the whole story is about how... It's, it's, this, it's this family of five, right? It's... it's uh, it's a mom and dad and three kids. And when the kids were all young, the youngest uh, uh, kid uh, drowned. Um, and that kind of broke the family up. And so now it's like 20 years later and the dad dies and the family has to come back together and they're kind of like dealing with all that, those unresolved issues they have over the you know, tragedy they had earlier in their lives. That's the comic book. And it, it was, you know, heartbreaking, but so neat to read. Um, I, I just, yeah, I mean, there's a comic out there for everybody. Uh, you know, AJ, I, I, I have been, I have been curious to start picking up the, the Ninja Turtles and the Transformers. Um, I gotta be honest, Power Rangers was a little bit after my time. I'm not sure, I'm not saying I couldn't be convinced to try it out, but I don't know if I'm gonna, it's not on the top of my list, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I, I love that, um, I love that all these properties are, are getting new life uh, through the comics. I think that's fantastic. I, I always love it when um, classic franchises get introduced to a new generation and keep it going. Yeah, seeking. I'm I'm really hyped for the new games too. Um, I I have this this goal that I know I'm not going to hit of trying to finish. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit of a ancient type cough here. Um, uh, I'd love to finish my Gen Eight Shinies by then, but I just I don't think that's going to happen. But I want to try and get as many of them as I can. Who are you guys picking as your starter for Gen 9? No, oh, if you're serious, I, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you a bunch of recommendations, man. I'll, I'll keep you busy. Yeah, yeah, I guess I should get used to that. I should start having some cough drops nearby. All right, we're at 12 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You're not sure, Sea King. Are you waiting to see the uh, the final evolutions?
Yeah, speaking, I don't, I don't blame you for that. Uh, I know there are a couple generations that I might have changed my uh, my starter choice if I knew what they turned into. Incineroar. Oh, you got it, Low. Is there, um... What kind of genres do you like when it comes to, uh... Uh, uh, like, movies and TV shows? Uh, sex, uh, it, it depends on... On... What you're looking at. Um, like, those ones I was talking about, like... Like, Saga and, uh... Uh, East of West and, uh, Sandman... If you pick up uh, the trade paperbacks, which are basically they're like a collection of like five, six, eight issues in a row, you can get those for like 10, 15 bucks a pop. Um, you know, because because they're uh, uh, reprints, they're, they don't have that same uh, value as the originals. Um, and so they can be, you know, really affordable. And a lot of them, you can just like run down to like, you know, Barnes and Noble or Books a Million or something, and check out their comic section, you know, which is usually right next to the, uh, the manga section or manga section, uh, and they'll be there. Um, if you're looking for the original comics though, those can get, those can get pricey. Like that, um, saga I was talking about, which is, uh, uh, son of a gun, uh, is, uh, very popular now. The first issue would be going for like 250, 300 bucks now. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if, if you're like me personally, like I'm into the comics for the stories, but then I'm also into it, uh, for the collectability myself. So I, uh, I like to get, um, the original, uh, first editions, uh, well, hello, Brooke, uh, as, as often as possible. Um, I keep forgetting to change Pokemon. Um, uh, but if, if you're if you're just in it for the stories and don't care about the collectability, getting getting those collections, those trade paperbacks are are very affordable. change Pokemon. Oh, hey, while I'm in here, anyone want to see some of my shinies? Hey, Ron. Welcome. Welcome in. Thank you for stopping by. Always good to see you, buddy. Just Dance for 51 minutes. I don't think I could do Just Dance for 5 minutes. Alright, let's take a look at my shinies here. Now this is just what I have in Shield, remember. I got like 20 boxes in uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, and then my all my Let's Go shinies are in Home. It's my Colossal. Roly Coley was uh, my first shiny in this game. Really easy one to hunt. Just outside of, um, was it, it's on, I think it's Route 3, right outside the first mine. It's got a 99% uh, chance to show up in the overworld. So, like, if you guys are looking for uh, a starter hunt, that one's super easy because you can knock out, like, a billion encounters right away. Uh, and then I got my Swoobat. Corviknight, Corvusquire, Staryu. You knew I had to have a Poliwag. Poliwhirl, Polyrath, Politoed, Barboach, Whizcash, Oregon. You know, and some of these are from Go. 
um, you know, some are from Go, some are from uh, Let's Go, some are from uh, uh, Gen 6 uh, and 7 that I transferred up. Cloud was the first shiny I got in Dynamax Adventures. And then I got Zekrom in Dynamax Adventures the same night. The only legendary I've gotten in Dynamax Adventures so far. Blossom. Rookie. Rabombi. Trico was a, uh, it was a um, Omega Ruby starter that I uh, hunted for. Tarcoal, Rolly Coley, and then Woobat, Greedent. All right, that's Fox One. Got Lycanroc, Raichu, Marowak. What five digit ID? Which one are you talking about? Which one's got a five digit ID, Sax? Trico. I don't even pay attention to the IDs. Is that? Is that? I mean, that's normal, right? Let me take me off of here now. Is that not normal? Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Sash, you're freaking me out here. Okay. Alright. Never mind. Um. Alright. Where are we at? Uh, Marowak. Executor. Glary, Mr. Mime. Squovet. Rhyhorn, Rhyperior, Rhydon, Rickady. Rickady is a low-key awesome shiny. I love that cream coloring. I mean, the whole line's great, but I just, I love Rickady. That, I just think that's a beautiful color. Double. Xelgor. Wulu. Wulu, like, definitely, like, the best shiny Gen, Gen 8. I mean, just it just is. Roserade, Roselia. <clears throat> My uh, Milsery from uh, the uh, Dynamax event they did, I think it was last February. Was it last February? Yeah, February 2021. Uh, the giveaway Toxtricity. Weezing, to do Cinderace, Morsi, Cedra, Kingdra, Reboot, Ice Q from the Penguin Day last year, Onyx and Steelix, Tangela, Tangrowth, Nidoqueen. Yellow, yeah, I know, me too. Well, I need, well, I guess seven. 
Nidoran, Nidorino, Nidoking. You know, some of these I got in uh, Let's Go and I transfer them over here just uh, to level them up quicker. Uh, Ninkato was a random encounter. My boy Yamper. Boltund. Uh, these are all from Let's Go, so these aren't too exciting. Or from Go, not Let's Go, sorry. Eldegoss, which is a gorgeous one. Gossifler. Score Bunny. Oh yeah, I'll be flexing all night long, man. Poltegeist. You guys want to see the underside? You want to see what's under there? Nothing's under there. It's uh, it's not authentic. Grilber. Oh, I love I love that freaking shiny, that blue nose, man. Meowth, Dreadnought, Lunatone. They they had that event. What was that? A couple months ago. Oh, September. I guess that was more than a couple months ago. Uh. The giveaway Celebi, uh, Choodle, Perserker, Nicket, Phalanx. I was very, I was very happy to uh, Masuda Phalanx. Obstagoon, Duskull, Litwick, Shanks. Why not? Blitbug. Ooh, Aracuda. Toxel. We'll do the other boxes later. Let's get back into Solosis. Oh, nice. Three in a row. Ooh, 14 likes. One away from the goal. This inferno is never going to hit. Oh, there it goes. First egg? Oh my god, I wish I would have gotten Tox on first egg. That was a good couple weeks for me. And I got to get a second one because I have the shiny amped up and I have the shiny Toxel, but I need the shiny low key and I just can't bring it in me to do another Toxel egg. Thanks, Ron. That's uh, it's not all of them. We'll uh, we'll look at some more here in a little bit. I wish there was a way I could show you my my ultra sunshinies. I'll have to. I, I've been waiting until I finish off all my Masuda in, in ultra sun to transfer all of them over to home, but I think maybe I should sooner rather than later. Sonic comics are really good. Um, you know, I I haven't seen the movies yet. I really need to. I got to be honest. I wasn't that thrilled about going to see the first movie. But since the second one came out, everyone's been talking about how good of a series that is. I, I need to sit down and watch them. Uh, I think I have a feeling I'd, I'd really enjoy them. Just based off of what everyone's saying. And that's, that's awesome because, like, typically... Movies based off of video games are not that good. 
So I'm I'm so happy that the Sonic movies are getting uh, uh, getting good reviews. Did you Citra and transfer your save? Yeah, you'd have to show me how to do that. I, I like, like I said before, I am constantly blown away at your knowledge, but I never have any idea what you're saying. <laughs> it's just way over my head. I believe you can show me. I just have no idea. I, I wouldn't even know where to start with that. So are you guys doing any hunts right now? What do you guys got going on? Oh, well, you're absolutely right. Like... Like, I think, I, I, I really think Saks is going to find a way to keep the eShop open. And it's just going to become the Saks shop. Ouch, Void. Ouch. I have been putting that off. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. How, how, uh, how much more do you have to do uh, in your, in your national decks? I was planning on just waiting until uh, home compatibility came out and just transfer everything I needed to into BDSP to get the shiny charm, but who knows if that's even going to happen at this point. Wow, Lo, that's impressive. And Dark Void, 346 is really impressive too. Like, how old, how old are you talking, Sax, when you say older games? Which, which ones are you talking about? Four fifty two. Is it four fifty two? Like, I know you don't need the mythicals, but what other ones do you not need?
Five Nights at Freddy's. That's that that's a series that I uh, I've never tried out. Everyone seems to be talking about it, and I don't know. I don't really know anything about it other than uh, some scary-looking uh, animatronic teddy bears want to kill me. Can always hunt them in Gen Three. So always access the events from you and Celebi. Uh, Deoxys, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I got my Emerald Sax, uh, I haven't picked it up in a couple of months, um, but I'm still planning on, uh, playing through that, and then, uh, using the action replay to get the, um, event passes to get to the islands, and then do, uh, hunts for that, um, but if I understand it, and Sax, this, this I do kind of know, but I, I want a confirmation from you, with the with the Mew and the Deoxys hunts in, in Gen 3 and Emerald, you can't just do a straight soft reset, right? Because it saves on the same frame. So you actually have to go, like you have to run into them, or you have to encounter them, run from them, and go through the process again to re-encounter them. Is that right? It is Runaways? Okay. That's what I thought. Because I saw some videos of, like, Deoxys uh, specifically. A guy encountering Deoxys running away, and then he's got to do the whole uh, puzzle again uh, each time. Because I, I really want to get, I mean, I want to get both of them, but I really want to get that, uh, that shiny Mew. Once I get, um, once I get, uh, an, another Omanite or, uh, or an Omastar, I'll be done with Gen 1 except for Mew. And right now, the only way I can see getting it is, um, if I, uh, take the Pokemon Go Mew and transfer it to home. Uh, either that or spend the time in, in Emerald uh, to get it. Uh, and I'm not too thrilled about either options, but I, I don't think I'm going to have another option. But I don't know. Like, I never thought we'd have a chance to get Arceus. So maybe, you know, maybe Gen 9, they'll have some new event to let you uh, shiny hunt for Mew. That would be awesome. Yeah, I, uh, I downloaded Crystal um, uh, on the virtual console specifically to hunt for Celebi, but I, I gotta be completely honest, since um, since they released that event Celebi for the, um, uh, uh, was it Secret of the Jungle, the, the Zarud movie, now that I have that event Celebi, my, my motivation's much lower. I, I still want to get it, but like it's it's kind of dropped to the to the bottom of the list. Well, Amber, I see you lurking. We like the lurks here. What's going on, Daylight? How you doing? Yeah, you know, <clears throat> sex, that didn't used to matter to me as much uh, before, but it, it really is starting to now. Um, and not only that, like, I got some shinies from some games in the past uh, that uh, the trainer name was different. 
And like, even though it was me and it was my game and I got it, the fact that the trainer uh, name isn't hefty bothers me. Like, so I feel like I have to rehunt those. Oh yeah, Ron, you're absolutely right. If we ever get Mew, we're going to have to pay for it. There's no doubt about that. You're sick. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Dude, I really hope that Ancient gets this Kyogre tonight. The man deserves it. Daylight, you're still going after the Raikou? Oh my gosh. You've been going after that forever. How many encounters are you at now? Weren't you at like 4,400 or something yesterday? you get it soon it's it's got to be coming soon right i mean just law of averages it's it's got to be near Sacks, I, I see you converting low. Fifty one sixty five. Oh, my goodness! That's that's got to be getting close then. That's like what is that like? 70, 73, 74% cumulative odds. Let's see here. One divided by forty ninety six. Just doing a little quick math here. Um, yeah. 5165 71 71.6 cumulative odds that's yeah it's got to be coming soon you're you're definitely on the downslope daylight it it's you're, you're you're closer to the shiny than you are to to the start of the hunt it's it, it'll be coming soon Oh, Sax, you got him hooked. You just, you just changed his reality.
You lurking, AJ? You got a shiny Kenya. That's awesome. All right, Amber, we'll ignore you. We're just we'll just pretend that you're invincible. Man, I cannot believe I didn't think about not being able to access the Crown Tundra when I transferred the save file to my other Switch. That was so stupid. Yeah, Amber, I got I got Ancient on my TV. I feel like I should be talking more, but I really don't know what to talk about. What do you guys want to talk about? Talk about anything. Thank you. Thank you, Sax. That's that's very helpful. That uh that 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 narrows it down for me quite a bit. Uh, do I plan on streaming Gen 9 gameplay when that comes out? Um first off, hello Razzie. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping in. I hope you have a nice time here. Uh do I plan on streaming Gen 9 gameplay when it comes out? Uh, you know, I, I thought about that a little bit and I want to, but at the same time, like, I know everyone else is going to be doing that and I mean, not that it's a bad thing. I, I like, not at all. It's, it's more like I don't want to be streaming playthrough like at this like let's say at the same time that ancient is because one i don't want to take any viewers away from ancient and two i want to watch ancient myself so uh i don't know i don't know i i i'm going back and forth because like you know i feel like as an aspiring streamer starting out i'd be stupid not to but at the same time, I feel like I'm just going to be adding more dilution 
if that makes any sense. Oh, I, I know. Well, uh, like Sax is just, he's, he's a miracle worker. Um, he can, he, he can get you anything you need. Um, I, I can, I completely understand why you're just on the floor. Yeah, Razzy. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one thinking that like, and, and like Razzy, you were a perfect person to, to talk to about this. Like, you know, I see you, I know what you're doing. I know what streams you're in and I know you're streaming too. And dude, I have no idea what sort of schedule I'm going to do because I love too many people and I don't want to take from their audience. I mean, not that I would take from their audience. Who am I, you know? But like, I don't want to take people from their audience and I still want to be part of their audience too. Um, Sax said I should start streaming at three in the morning, which, you know, is, is probably what's going to end up happening because I don't know what other option I have. Yeah, Lo, I, I, uh, I meant to ask you uh, last night. And I don't know if, if I did or maybe just got lost in chat. What? What, when are you streaming now? I know you're streaming at night, but like what, what time? You're, you're Pacific time, right? Oh, that's low stuff. Okay, great. So I can't do 3 a.m. All right, so I, I'll take the, the 5 a.m. shift. I'll just, I'll wake up a couple hours early and, and stream for a couple hours before work. Like, I think at least on the weekends, it's it's a little more open. Although Ancient still does like, what, like 30 hour streams on Saturdays. But I think for the most part, I think there's more available time. But during the week, like, I feel like that's all spoken for. Nine PM until one to two AM and that's that's specific, right? So that that would Jeez. So I could like I could catch the end of your stream low when I'm waking up. Uh, I might actually try and do that sometime. Yeah, I know you're right, Sax. It's just Like, I, I know, I know I'm stupid for worrying about it, but like, I just, I don't want to feel like I'm stepping on anybody's toes. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that there's only so many hours in the day. And I know a lot of you and myself included usually have a couple streams open at the same time anyway. And, you know, also, like, at least for right now, I'm doing this more for fun than anything else. Uh, I, you know, I'm kind of looking at this as, you know, maybe an up-and-coming hobby. Um, you know, if down the road it becomes something bigger and I can, you know, actually make this, like, profitable, that'd be pretty sweet. But that, you know, at least for right now, that's not my goal. This is just something that I thought would be fun to do. So I kind of feel like, Like, uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be messing with somebody that that's, that's using YouTube as, uh, a, 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 a means of income. Does, does that make sense? But again, like. Who am I to be saying that stuff, right? Like, I, I, I appreciate the 10 people that are in here right now. You guys are fantastic, and I appreciate all the support. But, you know, it's not like I'm... It's not like I'm small ant over here, you know what I mean? Uh, 
Oh, Lowe's going to be the next sax. We got a mini sax now. Ron. Ron, you, you got to be one of the most supportive people I have ever seen on the internet. I love you, man. So you want to have your job and stream when you want, but you should stream when you want. You can't catch everyone's streams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys are right. And thanks thanks for letting me kind of talk that out. Um, I just need to get that off my chest. Well, thank you, AJ. I appreciate that. Yeah, Ron, I know. Sax is always right. Oh, hey. Um, speaking of Sax being like the greatest man in the history of the internet. Uh, Sax, would you mind dropping a link to the Discord? Um, I'm not sure if all you guys have joined that yet or not, and if you don't want to, no biggie, but, you know, if you're interested, go for it. Um, at the very least, um, we uh, we have it set up so that every time I post a new video or, or stream, it'll uh, it'll ping the Discord. Um, so we got that going, uh, and, uh, we got a, we got a comics channel in there too. Uh, so, um, it was meant, it was original, my original thought was for people to like, you know, just like how we have shiny flexes, people could have like comic flexes, but if you guys are interested, maybe, maybe they'll become more of like a comic recommendation thing, you know, uh. I could start talking about some some neat stuff that you guys might enjoy if uh, if you're at all interested in checking out the comic scene. Thanks, Sax. Sax has been so supportive for me, like setting up the the Discord and then setting up the streams here. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, especially with uh, the Discord and uh, and Sax uh, was kind enough to to say he'd help me out. So um, of course I immediately made him a mod and put him in charge of the whole Discord uh, to run with as he pleases. Um, for for as long as he wants. Um, you know, eventually we'll probably look at getting some other people in here too. So all the pressure's not on, on, on Sax, but um, yeah, Sax is the man. Oh yeah, Sax. Like I'm not expecting there to be like you know, I'm not expecting like a a, a chem size or a or a gauge size Discord uh, now. Uh, that just wouldn't make any sense. You know, we'd have more channels than we have members, but um. Yeah, I, 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 I know, I know Sax will set up real nice for everybody. I mean, he already has. Yeah. 
I think I gotta replace it. Why do I still have tackle on Metagross? I gotta replace that. Hey, Lo, I don't blame you. I, I don't I don't blame you at all. Um, I, I said this in a stream uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, I think, Sa if I remember right, Sax was making fun of me. Uh, there was a couple of events that I missed, like the uh, the shiny uh, DNC and um, the uh, Zero Aura event um, back in 2020 that I, I just, I said screw it, and I just, uh, I can't believe I'm about to say this on a on a on a stream that's going to be on YouTube. I went on eBay and and bought a couple uh, and bought those uh, clone just to have them in my uh, collection. And my thought was, you know, if I hadn't if I hadn't missed the event, I would have had it, so it's okay. Um, oh gosh, that's that's a little embarrassing, but it's it's the truth. Ron, some of my favorite comics that I am reading right now. Um, that's a very good question. Uh, all right, when it comes to like classic Marvel stuff, um, I uh, I'm really enjoying uh, the work that uh, Donny Cates is doing on Thor right now. Um, I. Uh, I'm really liking uh, the new uh, uh, Jed McKay Moon Knight uh, series that just started last fall. Uh, that's been pretty interesting. Um, and um, Daredevil. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot. The Daredevil series that uh, Chip Zdarsky is doing right now is some of the best Daredevil writing that I've seen in probably 15, 20 years. Uh, it's excellent. Uh, and they just uh, finished up a big, uh, uh, a big crossover event story, and a new Daredevil number one will be coming out, I think, next month. Uh, just a heads up. Uh, so Marvel-wise, I'd, I'd say those three are my favorites at the moment. Um, and then uh, getting into more uh, independent comics, there is a series that, all right, if you guys don't get scared too easily. You gotta check out the series. Something is killing the children. Uh, it's uh, it's been around for about two years now, but I think I've only put out fifteen or sixteen issues, and and you can get those in those trades, like I was talking about earlier. It is a fantastic series. It's I don't know how to describe it. It's like reading a movie. Like it's it's very cinematic and it's it's a great horror story. It's got like some Stranger Things vibes to it. Uh it's about like remember like when you were a kid and like you could see monsters that like you know parent your parents couldn't see like that whole idea of like there's a monster in, in the closet and you can see it and then your parents come in and turn on the lights and everything's okay. Well the idea basically is those there are monsters and adults can't see them. The kids can, and the the like the title would lead you to believe these monsters are killing kids, and people can't figure out what's going on. But there's this there's a secret society that knows about this, and they travel from town to town to try and take out these monsters and you know and save the townspeople or whatever. And it's it's a really good series. Uh, all right, what what TM are we gonna give to Metagross here? Yeah, let's just give Brick Break. Um, yeah, AJ, I, I agree with the uh, uh, Spider-Verse. Uh, I agree with what you're saying about the Spider-Verse um, uh, uh, movies. Uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised with the first one. It was a lot better than I, I thought it would be uh, and I'm really excited to see the new one
Uh, and I, I love what they're doing with Miles. I, I, I do wonder, though, if the, the success and popularity of the Spider-Verse movies means they're not going to introduce a live-action Miles Morales into the movies. I mean, I really hope they do. Um, but I think, I don't know if that would be confusing for the audience or if like, if maybe people would think like it's overkill to have Miles be in both the animated franchise and the live action. But, um, I mean, I'd love to see it. And, uh, man, I would have loved to see Donald Glover as Miles Morales. That would have been absolutely fantastic. Yeah, hello. I hate the GameStop distributed things too, but I gotta jump on them. Otherwise, I'm not gonna get them. I mean, I hate it, but, you know, it's either I get it or I don't. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I hope they stop doing that. I really hope, I really hope that the BDSP events weren't only... Oh, my God. What? Yep, now, uh, I guess I can turn the TV off now, since he's done. Dude! Dude, are you serious? Ancient man. That was... Wow. Um... I don't even know what I was saying. Hello, everybody! Oh my gosh! Skull, McVeo, Puff, Ariana, Caffeine God, Daniel, McLoomy. Marker, Ancient, Jewel, thank you guys so much for, uh, for stopping it. Bree, oh my gosh. Dude, you've never heard of me before because I just started. Um, this is like my first official blue sky, oh my god, this is like my first official, hey, there it is, Skull, you are the first ever live stream subscriber thank you so much man thank you so much um yeah so um thanks everybody for stopping in this is my uh first real stream after doing a couple of test things uh brie thank you um and uh uh yeah, we're, I, 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 dude, I, I know, I didn't even think to, why didn't you guys tell me to update the title? Um, the plan was to do an Amara hunt, the beginning of the stream just went so, so epic fail. McLoomy, thank you for subscribing. So, we ended up, uh, uh, starting to hunt, uh, Solosis, and, uh, and we've just been talking, um, about all sorts of stuff uh thank you guys all for stopping in you guys destroyed my like goal too thank you we're at 20 likes right now um and uh daniel uh yes i <laughs> i am the hefty that yelled at chem nation in his own stream uh i i did not know he was going to be doing that video um i didn't know that he, I didn't know that I was going to be in that video until it went live and I saw it. I can't believe that happened. Uh, but, uh, well, McVeo, you can sub again. Just unsub and then sub again. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. Um, dude, I love Gen 1. I love Jigglypuff. We can have we can have Jigglypuffs in here all day long, man. That would just make me so happy. Um, uh, I I don't I don't even know what. All right, I guess since we got some people in here uh, that were 111. Good lord. Um, okay, so yeah, my name's Hefty. Um, I. Uh, when it comes to Pokemon, I'm old school. Been playing since 99. Uh, yes, Puff, I would absolutely love for you to sing. Um, been playing since 99. Uh, got into uh, 
uh, shiny hunting back in 2020. Um, I love it. Uh, and I figured it was about time that I stopped uh, yelling uh, at streamers for doing things wrong and uh, put my money where my mouth is and start streaming on online myself. Um, slapping to the Clefairies. Yes, yes, Sax, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we're just... I haven't even been hitting the encounter button. So, we're just... We're just chilling. We're just hunting these solosis and talking about stuff um i got real uh real excited uh talking about comic books uh, uh uh earlier i'm a huge comic book fan as well uh i know i have not watched episode five of moon knight yet um i i love my disney plus shows so much that i wait until saturday morning and watch them in my pajamas while i'm eating cereal like i'm a kid so uh i'm gonna watch episode five tomorrow morning so please no one no one ruin it uh i heard it was a good one um but uh yeah that's uh that that that's what's going on man uh i i can't believe uh i can't believe ancient raided me um you guys are awesome uh Ancient, I had you on my TV the whole time. I was watching the entire screen stream. I was rooting for you. I was I I stopped what I was doing every time that you uh yeah you beat the Kyogre because I was not gonna miss you getting it. And uh, I know it's coming, man. I know it's coming. Yes, Puff. It is like it's just like the Disney Channel all over again. Absolutely. Yeah, Skull, that was awesome. That was that was good. Uh, yeah, whales do be elusive, Sax. Um, oh, Sax, can you uh, um, can you drop uh, uh, another link to the Discord real quick if you have a sec? Um, just since we got more people in here. Um, we got a, a Discord started. If anybody is interested in joining, uh, that 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 would be swell. Uh, trying to grow it. Um, oh, another thing, uh, and I'm I'm sorry for you guys that have been here the whole stream because I know this is like the fourth or fifth time you've heard me say it. Uh, but just for anyone new that's interested that hasn't already, uh, you know, left and. Um, uh, I haven't scared away yet. Um, I'm getting ready to, to move. I, I bought a house. Um, the closing is next Friday. Um, starting uh, starting tomorrow, we're going to be packing stuff up. So I'm going to continue to uh, uh, put out my daily... Nice. Uh, put out my daily videos. Um... If you guys don't know, uh, I've been doing uh, uh, daily switch clips of, uh, of shinies that I've caught. Uh, so that will continue. I'll still be active in everyone's um, streams. But it'll probably be at least a week before my next, um, my next uh, live stream. Just a, a heads up. Uh, and once... Uh, oh boy, more Discord to join. Well, McVeo, you don't have to. I'm not going to be personally offended if you don't. Um, hello, and Stunfisk. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, just, just a heads up. Uh, it'll probably be at least a week before my next live stream. But then once uh, once we get settled in the new house and everything's all set up, uh, we'll get into more of a regular routine. What's the Rotom Rally score? Are you asking me what my height rally score is? Or are you talking to somebody else? Mm. 
this Metagross's moves suck. I gotta switch him out. Um, all right, let's uh, let's check. I I honestly have no idea what my high score is on the Rotom Rally. Just under twenty five thousand. I'm I'm going to assume that's not very good. Ancient be lurking. Uh, yeah, let's trade out this Metagross. This just isn't working. So are you guys going to be uh, participating in the the uh, Joltic hunt on uh, on Sunday? I eat tomatoes. Ariana, you crack me up. I mean, I know who I want to win the, the Joltik hunt. I mean, I, I think that's a given. Oh, you got commissions? Nice. Nice, Ariana. Uh, speaking of which, um, I should let you guys know... Uh, this, uh, this overlay uh, was done by the one, the only, the fantastic Antler Moth. Uh, if you guys don't know Antler Moth, uh, you need to. Wonderful person, wonderful artist, wonderful streamer. Yeah, well, I got no doubt. I got no doubt my my brain would just melt if if I knew what all was involved in that. Everybody falling asleep on me. So guys, I gotta be honest. I was planning on uh, finishing up here soon, and then I was gonna jump into Ancient Stream. Um, but since all you guys came over here, um, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll go to a hundred encounters. Uh, and then um, I'm going to finish showing off. Uh, I'm going to finish uh, flexing uh, the other uh, box or so of uh, shinies I got in here. And then I think we'll go on a raid if you guys are up for that.
You know, the other thing I got to get used to here is uh, not just me talking to myself, but uh, the delay. I have it sound low latency right now, but I'm wondering if I might want to try ultra low latency because or latency because uh, I'm just not used to the delay. It's it's such a different experience sitting on this side of uh, of the screen. That's very true, AJ. You are speaking truth right now. Hey, Skull, I understand that, man. I appreciate you stopping in. Uh, yeah, you should totally get some sleep, man. Four hours, yikes. But I really appreciate you stopping in, and uh, I hope you uh, you have some good sleep, and uh, thanks again for that, um, for that subscribe. Really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys uh, sticking around, uh, being here tonight. Uh, it's it's such a humbling experience, um, you know, to to be part of this community and try something out like this and uh, have the support of so many people. Um, it's. Uh, you know, it's it's a little scary um, doing this at first. Like, I feel very vulnerable. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's like a, a fun vulnerable. I am in top chat, Ariana. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Um. <laughs> You totally caught me. Uh, AJ, well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, I, I'm sure it's going to be great. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for being here uh, and being supportive. Hopefully, uh, future streams will run a little bit smoother. Ariana, did you did you catch an Alolan Stunfisk? Was it was it was it shiny? Are you, are you gonna are you gonna DM me pictures? And thanks, Skull. I appreciate that, man. 
you have a good night, and I'm, I'm sure I'll see you sometime tomorrow. You got the hidden ability G Max Shalfa Alolan Stunfisk. Don't tell me it was a male. Because if it was a male and you can evolve that Alolan Stunfisk, oh my god. Dark, dark Void, are we slugging it? It, it was a male? Airy. Airy, you gotta evolve it. Phone broke. Man. Oh, that would have that would have gone right in the Discord, man. That would have been the Shiny Flex. And we would have had to end the Shiny Flex channel in the Discord, because nothing could match that. Slugging it. Living that slug life. Yeah, that that would that'd be a good shirt. AJ, I think when we get the X and Y remakes, we probably will get new Mega Evolutions. But I think I'm going to be in the retirement home by the time we get the X and Y remakes. If they, if they follow um, the timing they have with the other remakes, that will probably be Gen 12. That will probably be close to 2030, man. 2029, 20, 2030. Oh man, I wish I could see the Stun Frisk. Ah. Oh. Stun Frisk has such a nice shiny. Come on, brilliant. Dang. Harry, if you can't take a picture of it, e even if you just put a drawing of it on, on, on the Discord, that, that would that would work too. Mm. 
it's the light goal was crushed. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. This was, uh, this was fun. Um, all right, real quick, since I started this before, uh, I just want to go ahead and end it. Um, yeah, box four. Here's some more of the shinies I got in this game. So we got Golet. I did a video on this one uh, a few days ago, I think. Uh, Grapple Locked. Renarigus. Dotler. G Max Duraludon. The random binacle that I found while I was looking for um, uh, Galarian uh, Stunfisk. Croagunk, one of my favorite shinies. The Snom. The Frostmoth. Morpeko. The Morpeko catch will be the video tomorrow morning. The Thievel. Arctivish and Dracovish. War Beetle. Lanoon. Zigzagoon. Kabuto. Barascuda. Yamask. Clobopus. Pinkurchin. Which I got. I think two days before Arceus came out. Legends of Arceus. Uh, the Articuno. Qfant. Venipede. Zapdos. Uh, Mudkip. Marsh Tomp. And, uh, Man Bear Pig. Got that from, uh, Dice Art Universe's, uh, Dynamax Adventure stream. The bottle B that I got on Easter, Ancients uh, Easter Egg Race, Copper Raja, and then the Moltres, Kabutops, and my most recent one, the Cryogonal that I uh, randomly ran into while I was looking for Amara. So that's it. I'm working on my, my fifth box in this game. Um, all right. Well, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out and uh, staying. Uh, appreciate the nine of you that are still here. Thank you so much for the, uh, for the 21 likes. Um, yeah, this stream started off ridiculous, but uh, uh, I, I really appreciate uh, you guys hanging out. This is a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to go on a raid. Um, what I like is I like alliteration. I like how um, Ancient does Ancient Ambush. Uh, what we're going to do is Hefty Hype. Uh, so let me just pull up... Uh, All right, um, so we're going to head on over here and, uh, you know, just like Ancient does. Um, hey, AJ, thank you for your time. Um, just like Ancient does, if you're coming on the raid, please leave a like. If you're not planning on leaving a like, uh, don't come on the raid. Thanks, Lo. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go on a raid and we're gonna do hefty hype. And, uh, again, thank you guys so much. Um, I'll be seeing you guys in, uh, in streams here, uh, for the next uh, week or two. Uh, I'll be doing my, uh, my videos every day. Uh, and everyone have a great night.